distribution and give the call to the honourable member for Wirra. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. What my electorate needs is the real national broadband network, the one that seems to be lauded in all their advertising. What my electorate doesn't deserve is the current patchwork rollout that divides neighbour from neighbour based on internet speeds and connection type they can access at their homes. Some parts of my electorate don't even have access to ADSL. Suburbs like Hoxton Park, West Hoxton and Green Valley have been waiting for more than eight years for promised connections. However, if you live in Long Point in my election, where my constituents don't even have mobile coverage, you would be forgiven to think that the NBN rollout has left you behind. They've lost count of the number of rollout dates they've had committed to by the NBN Co, despite neighbouring suburbs all being, already being connected. Kim Awad is a working mother in this area. Her children rely on decent internet access for their education. At her address, there is no fixed line broadband available due to the poor quality of existing infrastructure. Furthermore, she can't afford the cost of a Telstra mobile broadband service. To access a more affordable provider, Kim's had to affix a truck aerial to the roof in her house, which affords her access between midnight and 5am when the service isn't too overloaded. Despite many inquiries to the MBN Co, Kim remains frustrated and confused by the inability of that organisation to deliver a clear answer on a rollout date at her residence. Unfortunately, however, Kim's story isn't unusual. Other, another resident at Long Point, Fabian Perez, told me, we've only been able to access ADSL, but, the speed, but at speeds of just 1.5 megabits per second, it's barely enough for a household of six people to try and study, work and use the internet at the same side. Fabian goes on to say, the Long Point area also has limited mobile reception and all carriers, Vodafone, Telstra and Optus, um, don't have reception. I've complained to the current provider and they have advised that there's, this is nothing, they can do nothing about it as it's not worth the upgrade. Eventually, when the MBN is installed, we'll have a phone line that is dependent on power. Living in a bushfire prone area with one road in and out, minimal mobile reception and no fixed line available poses a serious risk to my family and other residents. Mr Speaker, it is absurd that something like this could be happening in a country like Australia in this day and age. This government is rolling out a network built on archaic technologies more slowly and at the same price. More than that, this mess is actually putting people out, cutting connections and simply making things worse for their families. And for many of my constituents, there's simply a sense of complete disappointment at what the government is delivering. I thank the honourable member for